Hey guys, Flip Otaku, and today I'm going to be talking about the ultimate reading order for Hellboy. As you guys have heard me say before, Hellboy is my favorite comic universe of all time. Um, I had, I did use a little bit of a cheat sheet. I did use Multiversity Comics uh, reading order, but I am going to change a few things because I think they're pretty spot on with the reading order, but I do think a few things need to be adjusted. And I don't have a couple books yet. Because uh, one, one's not out, and two, the reprint's not out for BPRD Vampire. So we're going to flip the camera around, and we're going to take a look at... Oh, there's one of the books dropping. We're going to take a look at the ultimate reading order for Hellboy. All right, guys. So here is, here it is, the ultimate reading order for the Hellboy universe. So if you're going to want to start off, you can get these. These are the, li these are the library editions for the Hellboy uh, main storyline. There are seven books, uh, those six main line, and then Hellboy and Hell. But these are also available in a cheaper um, paperback omnibuses. But Volume 1 covers Seed of Destruction and Wake the Devil. So you're, that's your starting on point right there. Even though some of the later books, some of these are prequels to all this, this is where you're going to want to start to get attached to the characters to understand who Hellboy is and find out where he comes from. Then right here, we got the Library Edition number 2 which comes with The Chained Coffin in the Right Hand of Doom. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, books in the series. Um, it's This is where I think Mike really hits his stride. And then we got Volume 3, which includes Conqueror, Warm, and Strange Places. And then this is a little one-off that came out not too long ago, but it's in between Book 3 and Book 4, and that is BP, I mean, sorry, Hellboy and the Silent Sea. Then you want to go to uh, volume four of the uh, of the of the library editions. You can also get the uh, trade paperback omnibuses, like I said. This is the Crooked Man and the Troll Witch. The Crooked Man is my least favorite Hellboy story. Um, I just I don't know something about it just did not uh, just rub me the wrong way. It's still decent, but the rest of the stuff it's my least favorite story in the whole universe. But here we got BPRD Plague of Frogs one, two, and three. Uh, this, centra this centers around the team of the BPRD, which is the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense. And then Volume 5, which I think is the thickest omnibus here. And this covers Darkness Calls and the Wild Hunt. So the Wild Hunt is one of the stories that the new Hellboy uh, movie is going to be covering. You've seen the Wild Hunt in some of the trailers. There are the people on the horseback. And then the BPRD Plague of Frogs does conclude in Book 4. Now, the hardcovers are severely out of print. Um... But you can get these in paperback. They actually just reissued them uh, last year in paperback. So definitely pick those up. The BPRD Player Frogs is uh, the best BPRD story, in my opinion. I like it a lot more than Hell on Earth. Then you can jump into Witchfinder, uh, books one through three, which is In the Service of Angels, Lost and Gone Forever, and The Mysterious of Unland. And then you can jump into my personal favorite side character of the Hellboy universe, and that is Lobster Johnson. There are six books in his series, and I think they're all out of print. Uh, Crimson Lotus is an ongoing right now that should be wrapping up very soon, uh, which is about, I believe it is about um, Lobster Johnson's arch nemesis. Uh, Lobster Johnson's very pulpy fun. It's, very, it's the most different of any of the Hellboy Universe uh, spinoffs. Uh, it's got its own unique take and own unique flavor, and I love Lobster Johnson. If he's supposed to be in the movie... Uh, he hasn't appeared in any of the trailers, so I hope they save him as a uh, little surprise. It'd be so awesome. Um, then we got BPRD. I mean, not, sorry, Sledgehammer 44, which is an amazing, amazing book. And then you got BPRD 1946 to 1948. Uh, BPRD Vampire is supposed, I believe, supposed to go after this. The first printing is severely out of print. The second printing is out. My book has not arrived yet. Because uh, I ordered mine on Amazon, and I think it's coming next week. So I'm very much looking forward to finally reading BPRD Vampire. But it would go right here between BPRD 1946-1948 and Frankenstein Underground. I believe this is still in print. Um, I don't know if it was going out of print or what, but yeah. Uh, Frankenstein Underground. Um, it's kind of an odd choice to put right here because there are some implications in this that tie on to the later and future of the series. Uh, then you can jump into Abe Sapien, The Drowning and Other Stories. So the way, I don't understand, this is this must be the correct reading order because um, this came out 
last, I believe, of the Ape Sapien Omnibuses, or the first, or last. I think it was last. But it's one and two over here, and then this one's not numbered. Uh, but this chronologically goes right here. And then we got another little spinoff here, uh, BPRD Being Human. There's Roger and the crew. And then you got Hellboy Omnibus 6, or Library Edition 6, which is The Storm and the Fury and the Bride of Hell. Uh, this is another thicker omnibus, and these books are absolutely phenomenal by Dark Horse. Best quality books in my collection, um, hands down. And then the newer series, BPRD, Hell on Earth. Now, Hell on Earth Volume 5 would come after Dark and Terrible Volume 2, but it's not out yet. It's the last book in the series. Also, guys, um, the, the newest series of the BPRD, the W No, I don't like to collect the trades, which is this of BPRD, because I do know for sure that we're going to be getting the hardcovers. So this is Hell on Earth 1 and 2. Uh, this is wrapped up. This is a pretty crazy story. And uh, Volume 5 comes out, I think, in a month or two. But then we get the end of Hellboy's saga. Hellboy in Hell in the single library edition. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. This is where I don't agree with Multiversity Comics' uh, reading order. Kashi the Deathless is a very nice uh, ending to Hellboy in Hell. If you would put this book right here into the slot, it would be perfectly fine. And it would actually, it's a nice little addition to Hellboy in Hell. So I highly recommend you doing that. Then you got Hell on Earth 3, B uh, Abe Sapien, Dark and Terrible Volume 1, BPRD Volume 4, Dark and Terrible Volume 2, and then BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 5 would be coming right here. But then we got Kashi, The Deathless, um, great spinoff. I'm loving that even though the Hellboy universe, BPRD, uh, W Note, is the ending of the Hellboy universe, they're going to keep fleshing it out with backstories and prequels and side stories, so I'm really loving that. Uh, then you get back into the Witchfinder. Uh, Witchfinder is my least favorite of the spinoffs. But you got City of the Dead and the Gates of Heaven. Then you got Rise of the Black Flame. Right here. You got Rasputin. The Voice of the Dragon. And if you're um, new to the Hellboy universe and you keep hearing things like Kashi. Because he's, um, I believe, Russian folklore or Slavic folklore. And Rasputin was a real person. So if you keep hearing like, yeah... Hellboy takes, a, it's a huge hodgepodge of uh, mythologies from different cultures and real life events. And it's awesome. It is absolutely wonderful. Then you got BPRD, Hellboy and the BPRD, which is a spinoff series where Hellboy was still in the BPRD. Whoa, goodbye guys. Uh, where Hellboy was still in the BPRD. He does leave at a certain point. Um, but it's best to read. Here, let me adjust these books here. It's best to read. 1952 to 4. And then the visitor, how and why he stayed, he appeared uh, much earlier in the series, but this is a little, you know, side story to flesh out his character. And then BPRD, Hellboy and BPRD 1955. 1956, I believe, is ongoing or it just finished. So I'm sure once that's out, we will get a hardcover omnibus like this for that series. It is very good. Now, what I can say about this series, hands down, all of these books are phenomenal. Um, Hellboy Universe, for me, as you guys know, manga is my medium of choice. But something about this appeal appeals to me on all fronts. You have the gothic imagery. You have the, the horror aspect. You have the action. You have a character who uh, has many layers to him. And then you have a universe that is absolutely fleshed out. And it's Mike is my favorite comic creator. And I... Even though the BPRD is over, um, it, it's over very soon. I can't wait to see what side stories that they have to tell. Because Hellboy, the Hellboy universe, is my all-time favorite series. And I am so in love with it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this put this took a little bit of time to put together. And, I hope, and I'm recording with one hand. I usually have my tripod. But I am recording this before I go to the gym. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, uh, starting... Now, I'm going to be doing a Hellboy read-through. So, I'm going to be reading through all of these books up until the movie, which is March, which is April something, I think April 11th. Uh, so, yeah, guys.
uh, let me know if you guys like this video and uh, tell me if you're going to be reading along with me on Hellboy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.